click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends today we will understand the concept of overheads in cost accounting there are different elements of cost like we have material cost labor cost and other the main cost involved in calculation of total cost of any product is overheads now what is overheads let us see the definition of overheads according to costing accounting standard 3 overheads issued by the icwa institute of cost and works accountant that is cost and management accountants india states that overhead comprise of indirect materials indirect employee cost and indirect expenses which we cannot directly attribute to any particular product which are not directly identifiable or allocate to a cost object economically feasibly way overheads were also known as on cost or burden etc in the past so we are required to consider overhead value or overhead cost without which we cannot arrive at actual cost of any product so there is need of accounting of overheads accounting overheads accounting aims to absorb the overheads in product units produced by the firms simple meaning of absorb here is to include whatever expenses are incurred relating to a particular product we are required to include them while calculating the total cost of the product overhead accounting involves the following a collection classification and codification of overheads b allocation absorption and reapportionment of overheads allocation apportionment and reapportionment of overheads and c absorption of overheads now let us see the first part here what is collection collection here means an organization is required to find out what are the overheads incurred in that particular organization you are required to collect information about those overheads for that purpose we are required to find out from the various accounting documents and other information requisite slip by the departments what expense is has been incurred and the benefit is taken by the various organization department collection of overheads means the collecting of indirect items or of expenses from books of accounts and other account records in logical group having regard to their nature and purpose overheads are collected on the basis of pre planned groupings called cost pools or they are called as what cost groups or heads source document and the nature of overheads are summed up we are required to get information evidence with the help of some documents which are arising in transactions based on that we can understand the expense of overheads this table shows the various source documents which gives us idea about the particular amount of overheads source document stores issue note or purchase voucher in particular department whenever they require some material they are required to raise a note to the store department so that store department will supply required material to that particular plant or job those store issue note or purchase voucher if it is directly purchased from the market we get idea about the indirect materials and their nature is what we call it as a consumables or for example lubricants etc second payroll sheets and time sheets this helps us to understand the details of indirect labor we refer to them as wages salaries contribution to statutory benefit for example esi gratuity or provident fund bonus incentives idle time etc third cash books maintained by the organization which shows indirect material 
indirect labor and indirect expenses the actual amount spent all types of cost subsidiary records that is journal there are sometimes expenses which are not actually paid we record them in cost book on national basis so we are required to check those journal entries where expenses not paid in cash but recorded on national basis indirect material indirect labor and indirect expenses for provisions of cost that are not actually paid for but are recorded on national basis to arrive at total cost of the product other reports we get information of indirect expenses for example with the help of annual accounts account statements we get information of depreciation we get information of scrap wastages etc so these grouping helps us to allocate the expenses and these source documents are the evidence of those expenses which are also useful for audit of those particular expenses after collection we have next step that is codification now what is codification codification involves giving a code number to each item of overheads codification helps in easy identification of different items of overheads codification can be done by allotting numerical codes or alphabetical codes or a combination of both each time it becomes difficult to record the full name of particular item of expense or referring to particular department instead we give some code numbers so that allocation becomes simple moreover these code numbers can be used in softwares very easily and accordingly we can allocate those expenses like for example codification of overheads we have cost center codes 11001 relating to turning department 12001 relating to grinding department 13001 relating to components of manufacturing 14001 assembly up to this we can see that code number is starting with the number 1 if a code number is starting with the 1 it indicates that it's a production over it is related to production 21001 maintenance 22001 quality control here we find that it is starting with number 2 23001 stores 31001 hr and administration 32001 accounts all codes starting with 1 are production departments all codes starting with 2 are factory related services and all codes starting with 3 are general services this coding helps collection of cost on functional basis and also to identify an item of expense directly to a department or cost center that is a advantage of codification so after collection of data next steps we have that is the codification that is giving the code numbers to particular expense that is what we understand from here here we have understood the various steps by which the organization decides to allocate over it to various department collection of information codification then classification of expenses over its and then apportionment of over its so that we can arrive at total cost of the product thanks for watching this video stay in tune with ikeda and subscribe to our channel ikeda thank you